What's this? Josephine, over here before it melts. Hey, what are you, Joseph? Put it here. Sugar, you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble. Yeah, you better keep a lookout. If Beanstalk catches you again, what's the matter with you anyway? I'm not very bright, I guess. I wouldn't say that. Careless, maybe. No, just dumb. If I had any brains, I wouldn't be on this crummy train with this crummy girl's band. Well, why'd you take this job? I used to sing with male bands, but I can't afford it anymore. Have you ever been with a male band? Who? Me? That's what I'm running away from. I worked with six different ones the last two years. Oh, Rob. Rob? I'll say. You can't trust those guys. I can't trust myself. I have this thing about saxophone players, especially tennis sax. Really? I don't know what it is. They just curdle me. All they have to do is play eight bars or come to me, my melancholy baby, and my spine turns to custard. I get goose pimply all over, and I come to them. That's all? Every time. You know, I play tennis acts. But you're a girl, thank goodness. Oh, yeah. That's why I joined this band. Safety first. Anything to get away from those bums. Yeah. You don't know what they're like. You fall for them, you really love them. You think this is going to be the biggest thing since the Graf Zeppelin. The next thing you know, they're borrowing money from you. They're spending it on other dames and betting on horses. You don't say. Then one morning you wake up, the guy's gone, the saxophone's gone. All that's left behind is a pair of old socks and a tube of toothpaste, all squeezed out. So you pull yourself together. You go on to the next job, the next saxophone player. It's the same thing all over again. You see what I mean? Not very bright. Brains aren't everything. <laughs> I can tell you one thing. It's not going to happen to me again, ever. I'm tired of getting the puppy into the lollipop. Ice! What's keeping the ice? The natives are getting restless. 